The Google Translate function is used to translate a text automatically or according to the specified languages. In this example, we will translate the text in cell A2 from English to Italian. To do this, type equal in cell B2. Then Google Translate. This function has three parameters. The first parameter is the text to be translated. The text value must be enclosed in quotation marks or must refer to a cell containing the appropriate text. The second parameter is the source language. It is a two-character code representing the source language. For example, N for English or it for Italian. You will find the codes for all the languages available on Google Translate from the dedicated page. The page link is in the description. The last parameter is the target language. It is also a code composed of two letters. Close the parentheses and validate by pressing the Enter key on the keyboard. Here the word is translated. To automatically translate other words, drag the fill handle at the bottom of the formula cell down to apply this formula to more than one cell. Now we want to translate the words hello, goodbye, and thank you into several languages. So, we create a drop-down list in cell B1 which allows to select a language. Once the choice is made, translation takes place automatically in cells B2, B3 and B4. In this spreadsheet we have a table with the codes by languages. We have chosen just 19 languages. To begin, select cell B1. Click Data and then Data Validation. Next to Criteria, select the list from Range option. Click on the Select Data Range icon and then select the range manually from the sheet. Make sure the Show drop-down list in cell option is selected. If this is unchecked, you will not see a drop-down icon in the cell B1. Click on Save. You now have a drop-down list in cell B1. Just click on the drop-down icon and it will show you all the languages you can select from. We now want the code for each language selected in cell B1 to be automatically inserted into cell C1. To do this, Use the VLOCAL function in cell C1. This function is designed to search vertically in the first column of the table and return a value in the same row from the second column. Enter equals VLOCKUP. The first argument is the search key, which in our case is the language selected by the user. Click cell B1 to automatically enter it into the formula. Type a comma. The second argument is the range. Click on the first column header, then drag the mouse to the last column in the table. Type a comma. The third argument is the column that contains the value you are looking for. In this example, we want the code, which is the second column in the range. Type a 2 and add a comma. The last parameter indicates whether the lookup column is sorted. In most cases, false is recommended. Type false and add the closing parenthesis. Here is the result. Now, use the Google Translate formula in cell B2 to translate the word that is in cell A2. For the text parameter, click on cell A2. The source language is English. So, Type in. The target language code is in cell C1. So, click on this cell to add the last parameter. Add the closing parenthesis and press Enter. The word in cell A2 is translated from English to Japanese. Drag the fill handle at the bottom of the formula cell down to apply this formula to the other cells. There is an error here. When the formula is copied, the relative references update the formula based on the cell location. As you see here it became C2. To fix this error, use an absolute cell reference which ensures that the formula always refers to the same cell, even when copied and pasted. Add the dollar symbol to make the reference absolute. You can now see the translations of the other words.